Hi, this is Anneli. Uh, today I want to show you an um, a easy way to make these paper angels. Um, I've showed you how to make this Christmas tree, so while I was in the spirit, I thought I'm going to make myself a few of these. Um, what you're going to need is a old book with yellow pages. If you can, if you can't find yellow pages, you can take a tea a tea bag and just go a wet tea bag and just go over the pages to make it look old. Um, I received this in the mail yesterday, so I'm anxious to use it. I've already tried, and uh, I like the the circle one. Although I think this one can also would look nice, and maybe this one as well. I don't like the star one. But we're going to see. I'm just going to show you how I do this. And then we're just going to easy fold this little angel there. So first you need a little bit of acrylic, white acrylic. It's I, I'm using Heritage White. I just poured it into this bottle because it makes it easier for me to pour out. Uh, you can use any acrylic, white acrylic, even a... Um, the, the ones that you use to paint your roofs. Ah, your, your walls, sorry. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. I just covered the little dots. Let me just see. And I'm just going to randomly stamp my my dots. You can do as much as you want. I think that's enough for me. Or maybe I must just go and overlap those also. So yeah, now I'm just going to quickly wait for it to dry and then we're going to start folding. It's very easy and very very rewarding. Remember if you want to make bigger ones you can just use bigger paper or bigger book, books. Okay, you want a, a oh, no, no, I don't know what you call what you call that in English, but anyway, um, you can either either do that, just take a line a line there and cut it with your scissor, or you can um, just um, take a ruler. It's ten and a half centimeters, ten and a half centimeters, ten and a half. Just draw your line and depending on the look that you want you can either take a scissor and cut it or you can just tear it so that's that's the the one I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna use a few beads and I'm gonna use this uh, thin thread or something anything that you can use you can even uh, take gold string or anything that you can get through your bead if your bead, bead is big enough that will depend on what you're going to put on on your beads. So what you want to do is you must just be careful. This is very brittle because it's very old. So you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna fold it like this, but try and make it very small because if you make it too big, it's not gonna make that concertina look. So I'm gonna start on this side. I'm just gonna be careful because because as I said, this is very brittle. I'm just gonna go there and then I'm gonna fold it on this side you know what I want to go that way I want the white in front and I want this to to go to the back so that it can look like this this is the back side although it doesn't really matter but if you want um, it to look like this you will just keep that in mind if you've got a print on your paper or anything So now I'm just going to speed this up. I don't want to bore you. You just go all the way through like this.
Okay, now you can just flatten it a little bit carefully with your pencil or anything that you've got. Just as I said, be just take care. This paper is the older they are, the very brittle they are. Now, what you do now, you take the middle. You can do that beforehand. I've got a very big ruler here for a very small piece of paper. You know it's ten and a half, so it's going to be five and a quarter. So you can just make yourself a line there. Uh, you can decide how far you want to go. This is just for the wing part. So um, you want a rather long dress with shorter wings. So then you can make it shorter. You can maybe stop there. So now you just take your scissors or tear it if you want and take it up to that edge. I'm just going to quickly get my folds back. Okay, now what you can do if you, if you fold this over like that you can see like this and the other side the same now you've got your your little wings so what you are going to do now oh yeah and I forgot sorry you can take any paper glue that you've got or any glue that works for you on paper so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there and there and I'm just going to put it on my sides there. So now you can just wait a moment for it to dry and uh, then we will start. I'm just going to give this a second to dry. I forgot to drop a little bit of glue in there as well, just to keep um, everything together, there where the neck will be. Okay, that's maybe too much. Okay, uh, now I'm going to put on the head. I personally would have loved to put a wooden bead there, but, but I haven't got. I have to travel 120 kilometers to get something. I live in a very small town. So I already made one with that. I like the white rather also, but you can see the hole is a lot smaller. So I can't use that. And then, then I've got this one. It doesn't look bad for me. So I'm going to put the one that looks like crystal or glass on. And it's got a little big hole. So what you can do is you can you're gonna take your piece of string, you're gonna put it through there, then I'm gonna make a knot on top. I'm gonna bring it down, and I'm gonna make another knot at the end. You don't have to do that, it's just I like to make certain everything stays where it must be. You can make another knot there at the next end and then you can take a sharp even one of these or one of these it doesn't matter um, you can see there's the opening there I'm just gonna make a small hole there in the middle just for my thread to go through Okay, you can even take a needle, but I'm not going to go and fetch a needle now. I'm just going to struggle. Pop this in there. You can see it's coming out at that side. Get yourself a tweezer or something like that. I usually start and then I, I like to do it the hard way. Don't ask me why, but yeah. Okay, there you go. 
then just make sure it's all the way in and then you can tie a knot there again the inside as well just make sure you don't tear through your, through your paper just gonna pop it in there and there you go there's your little angel now what you also can do if you like you can take your uh, glitter just put a little bit of your Um, glue and sprinkle your glitter and everything I, I, I'm not into that now so there you go I'm finished with those two um, I hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe and hit that bell that you can get future uploads of my videos um, and then I will see you again and I hope you enjoyed this have a great day